Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to um, expand this logarithm expression. And to be able to go ahead and do that, uh, the main important thing that we want to uh, we want to be able to do is just apply our properties of logarithms of expanding. So the first thing I notice is you know square roots, and we don't want to write anything with square roots in our expanded form. So I'm going to we want to rewrite this in our fractional form. So to do that, I can rewrite this. Instead of taking the, the fourth root of everything, I can rewrite this to the 1 fourth power. Therefore, now we can always take our, when we're writing an expanded form, we take our powers and we write them in front of our logarithm. So this case would be 1 fourth times log base 4 of 4r divided by s cubed times z. Now, simply what I need to do is now I can break this up into two logarithms of now, the other thing is when I'm breaking these up into logarithms, though, everything is always going to be raised up to that 1 fourth power. So what I'm going to do is now introduce brackets, meaning whatever I do inside of this equation from now on is going to be done with the brackets. So now I have 1 fourth. And I'm just going to break this up into two separate logs. So log base 4 of 4r minus log base 4 of s cubed z. Then, by expanding each one of these logarithms, oops, end of my brackets, 1 fourth. So I have log base 4 of 4 um, plus log base 4 of r minus log base 4 of s cubed plus log base 4 of z. All right, well now, log base 4 of 4, we know that's 1, so that's helpful. Right? Then here, I can bring the 3 down in front, and there's really nothing else I can do with log base 4 of z. So my final solution is 1 fourth, uh, 1 plus log base 4 of r minus 3 log base 4 of s plus log base 4 of z. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you expand your logarithmic expression. Thanks.